Edgar, welcome, Edgar. How are you doing today? Tonight. I'm pretty good. What about you? Good. I'm great. I'm great. Good to see you here. Nice to how see was, you. Um, how, was, uh, how was your day today? It's, it was very good. It was good? Yeah. What do you do? What do you do for fun? Uh, I just stay at the little store and taking rest. You rested? Yes. <laughs> All right. Yeah. That is just your... awesome. What about yeah. me? I've been working, 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 working like crazy. You never stop working. Working nonstop. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Exactly, my friends. How so many hours working. do you work? Mm. Around, like, you know, I have to stay here for like, you know, yeah, at the, at the side, right? For for like ten hours, but I stay more because I I come here very early and then I leave very late because I have to deliver these classes too. So, but yeah, like from uh, from this other job, it's like eight hours, you know, eight hours, eight hours. No. And, yeah. But then I gotta like like all the things and I have to prepare class. No, I mean that's yeah, no, it's more than that. It's more than that. Yeah, you have to take a couple of hours to take to prepare the class, right? Yeah, yeah, we do, we do, we do have. To. How many levels are you teaching a day? How many levels mm -hmm. here? Two. Okay. Yeah, the other, the other, you know, the other job I have is a uh, kind of different. It's just mm -hmm. not like for levels like that. We do have levels, but 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 it's only advanced. Intermediate, advanced, you know. Okay, in different place. Yeah, that's a yeah, that's a different place. Okay, that is correct. What about you? What's uh? Well, you told me what you did last time, right? So, yes. How's that going? How's business going? It's a little slow. We close like three days a week because we are we are playing softball. And right. then we have we have to close the little store to go and play. <laughs> but you don't need to. I mean, if you need money, right? Where's everybody else? Because today everybody's late. Uh, late. So if you don't really need the money from that, you know, why would you stay there for like? Why? Why would you abandon your job to go to you know? Uh, plays softball because that's why you play right softball yeah yeah softball right so you're like you know we don't need we don't need the money right <laughs> we don't need the money <laughs> everyone need, needs needs money <laughs> but let's let's go play softball no that's cool man no you know what that's actually very healthy it's a yeah. very healthy option yeah. right it's not Life shouldn't be about work, work, work all the time, right? Yeah, exactly. It's a very healthy option. That's great, man. Okay. Thank you. Softball, I don't think do you do you ever please play baseball? Mm, no. I, no. I only used to practice softball. Okay. All right. Yeah. Yeah, that's yeah. I yeah, well, yeah. That's that's cool, man. That's cool. That's cool. What about you, Caesar? How was how was work today? What do you do? Caesar? Hello. All right, Raul, how was your day today? What do you do? Um, in my case, I worked until five p.m. and yeah, I I did a lot of things with my with my girlfriend. I spent time I spent time with them, and well, I also I I studied uh things about my my career and yeah, something like that. All right, I awesome, awesome. Okay, so you had, you know, you had. A lot of time 
you know, you had a lot of tasks in your hands, right? All right, very good. So you had your hands full today. Right? Okay, very good. So, so anyways, so guys, today we are going to talk about past models. Before we get started, guys, I got something very important to ask you. How are we doing with, how are we doing with, uh, with the platform? Did we finish it? Did we all, we all finished it? Okay. Awesome. And then, yeah. all right. So we are going to talk about past models, right? So guys, who remember what a model model is? You can you give me an example of a model? Uh, I'm not sure, but I think they are wood, could, no, I don't know. Wood, could, yes, wood and could are are models, yes. Okay. What else? Uh, might, may. Out might. To... Okay, so we got might, we got may. All right, very good. What else do we have, guys? What is what else is a model? What is what does a model do? It's an auxiliary, right? It works as an as an auxiliary and it modifies, you know. A verb in base form. Okay, so let's talk about models. All right, so we in today's agenda, guys, we're gonna go over, over models. And we're gonna have some practice. You know, this is the topic that we're gonna see today and tomorrow. So by the end of this class, you will be introduced to past models in order for them to talk about actions in the past. Okay, so for example, guys, for example, if we had um, if we had for example, give me one second. If we had, for example, mm, let's say that that uh, you wanted to say this. Okay, I'm gonna say it in Spanish, and you try to, you try saying it in English. Okay, what if you wanted to say, um. Hubiera ahorrado todo el dinero. How would you how would you say that? Hubiera ahorrado todo el dinero. How would you say that in, in English? Uh, maybe I would have saved my money. Very good. I would have saved my money, right? Good job, all right. Very good. So see, Uri, that was an example of a past model. Guys, we need to use past models to talk about the past, okay? Um, for real situations and whatnot. So see, he said I would have, right? I would have what? Saved my money, right? All right. Very good. All right. So I would have. That would have part right there, guys. That is considered a past model. So let me ask you something. What happened to the K here? I want somebody help. I want somebody guys to help me read this part over here. Uh, all right, Edson, it's okay. All right, so guys, um, let's take a look at this part over here. So who wants to help me read? Who wants to help me read? All right, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. All right, so let's see. Teacher, oh, yeah, okay. All right, got you, Ever. Thank you very much, Ray. All right, so let's see. Cecilia, would you like to help me read? Okay. Past model verb are must, cool, my, and my with have. Plus past participle to talk about suppo uh, suppositions or speculation really pre regarding the past event. 
This is called the modal perfect tense. All right, very good. So pass, very good, right? So uh, we use them, guys, to talk about the past, right? Speculations or suppositions, okay? So you suppose something, all right? So a speculation, but in the past. So for example, this guy over here. So what's what's the problem that we got in this image? Tell me. What seems to be the problem here? What happened? So the guy enters his room, right? This guy right here. I'm talking about the image, guys. So this guy, this guy right here enters the room, right? All right, very good. So this guy enters the room and he finds this. So I want you guys to speculate what could have happened. Okay. Um now what 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 could it have happened, guys? What do you think it happened? Um, what do you think happened? He he's assuming that Ro ate he, his meal. All right, very good. What do you think, guys? Okay, so let's pretend that we do not have this right here. Right? So we don't have this, right? We're not gonna take a look at the example from someone else, okay? So we don't have this, okay? So what could have happened here? <laughs> what do you think? Tell me, tell me, tell me, guys, tell me. You have to. Right now, I want you to be as chambrosos as possible. Right? Yo creo que la hija se le comió todo porque estaba enojado con él porque se fue con otra mujer. I want you to talk like that, okay? But in English. How do you say that? All right, very good. I'm going to ask, guys, the people who have their camera turned off. All right, so let's start with... Samuel, Samuel. Okay, so Samuel, what do you think could have happened to his food? Sam. All right, let's go with Reina Elizabeth. What do you think could have happened to his food? Tell me. Okay, so we got Reina Sorry. Okay, very good. Eduardo Jose Melgar. Okay, Reina, I got it. Okay, me, uh, Gabby. Yes, Eduardo. Mm, I think the someone ate his cake. Okay, you can, but okay, very good. But notice, guys, what the problem is, right? We're saying, I think the dog ate his cake, right? That's not how we should be speaking. All right? Ese, ese es el propósito por el cual tenemos que aprender esto, porque estamos hablando bien básico. Así no es como lo diríamos en, en español, right? El perro se comió su comida. Cuando decimos eso, guys, estamos dando eso por, 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 por acertado, ¿no? Estamos diciendo que eso es verdad, ¿sí o no? Si yo digo, ah, El perro se comió su comida, right? Estoy asumiendo, pero lo estoy haciendo saber como que no es una, una assumption, right? Lo estoy haciendo ver como que es verdad. O sea, eso me hace mega chambroso, right? Quiero que sean chambrosos, pero un poco, right? Just a little bit, right? Quiero que me digan, uy, um, el perro debió haberse comido su comida. How do you say el perro debió haberse comido su comida? How do you say that? Like that. Not, not, not uh, the dog ate his food. You know, el perro debió haberse comido. The dog True. must uh, have eaten the, the cake. All right. Good job. Very good. Okay. Very good. How else can we say this? All 
All right, so that's what we're going to study today, okay? Teacher? Tell me, tell me. The, the ants, how do you say your mia ants, right? The, the ants? The ants might have eaten the cake. The ants might have eaten the cake, very good. Edson says the dog must have eaten the cake. Very good, Edson. That is correct. Okay. Very good. So if you notice, guys, there is a pattern, right? We're saying must have, might have, could have. Got it? What is what is the thing that they have in common, guys? Must have, might have, could have. What is something that they have in common? Um, they are suppositions. Yes, they are suppositions, but what is, if I say guys must have, might have, could have, what is the one thing that they share in common? They are models. Have. Yes, they are models, but they what is the common. one thing that you see repeating itself? It's a possibility. No, what is, okay. Must have, have. might have. have, have guys, okay have the auxiliary and this is the auxiliary okay might have yes samuel it's okay no worries so might have could have all right so guys it is a possible it's a supposition all right but they share guys the what they share in common is that they all have the auxiliary have write that down okay necesito que recuerden que que tienen el auxiliar have Okay, sounds good. All right, so it has the auxiliary have. Okay, questions so far, guys? Clear, clear, clear as. Uh, teacher, I have a question. Tell me, tell me, please ask me. Uh, must is only from obligation, really? No, must is not only for obligation. I'm not talking, I have not mentioned that yet. But no, it's and not only for obligation. Have... Have to is only from a, you should, a, for example, you should a, go to the supermarket because you need a, groceries. Oh, yeah, that, that would be for suggestions. What What is your question about that? Uh, my question is when you use must and how, you can use with plural, in plural. Yes, you can use, yeah, you can use them in plural. They must have bought food. You can use, I mean, yeah, and, you can use lady. they. You can use they, yeah. Okay, any negative? So, after, the, we're going to we're gonna go over the structure. Don't worry. Vamos a ver la estructura, right? Don't worry, we have not seen that yet, but yeah. If you want to know for now, right, it's here. You place the not here. Must not have, you know, come like this, right? Oh, you know, he might not have done that, right? Or he must not have done that. But must not have changes, okay? That's a little But But, yeah, you place the particle not here, okay? Right now, let's focus on knowing that this is just to talk about models, right? Sounds good? All right, very good. So, so let's move on then, okay? So we have, so we got a few examples here. So let's see, help me read, guys. I cannot read, help me read, you know? I barely got to first grade and I did not learn how to read. So I need somebody to help me read. Oh, okay, teacher. Go ahead. The cat has escaped. I must have left I must have left the window open by mistake. Very good. The cat has escaped. I must have left the window open by mistake. Very good. Okay. Very good. So where do you see, guys, the past model here? Where is it? Escape. No, escape is the past ah. participle Most. form of the verb. Must. Must. 
Okay. Yeah, must, must is, must, yeah, it, it's uh, part of the past modal, right? Very good. Must have, right? So we have, guys, must have, all right? That is the answer that I am looking for, right? So must have. Right, I must have left the window open by mistake. So, how does that translate to? How, what does that translate to, guys? Translates to, debí haber dejado ese, debí haber dejado, guys. Right. So you're assuming. So you don't know, right? You you really don't know, because if you don't learn how to speak like this, guys, you will say, "Oh, I left the windows open, open, perhaps," right? But that's very basic, okay? So do you want to be basic, guys? Do you want to speak basic or do you want to speak advanced? Maybe advanced? Maybe basic? All right, very good. So this is an example, right? So what about what about this over here? Claire has left her handbag here. She must have left in a rush, right? So I have a question for you guys. What other things can we assume? So let's see, let's see, right? So you see a handbag laying on a table, right? So this, let me see this, right? This handbag is laying on the table, okay? So this handbag is laying on not that, right? Let's say, because we don't know this table yet, right? On, on a table. So this handbag is laying on a table. If you found this handbag, handbag lady, lady, uh, laying on the table, guys, what kind of things could you assume? Let me hear you. What are the things, guys? One assumption is that Claire has left her handbag here, right? She must have left it in a rush. Una de mis asunciones, o como sea que se dice en español, right? De mis suposiciones es que ella habrá dejado, habrá salido de prisa, okay? ¿Qué otra cosa puedo asumir si yo veo este handbag en una mesa? What are the things can I assume? And how would you say them? Uh huh? Let's see, Yancy. What do you think, Yancy? She has, she, she, she have must uh, forgot the handbag. She must have forgotten, forgotten, right? Not forgot, forgotten. She must have forgotten the handbag. Repeat. She must have. Everybody she repeat. Have, everybody. She must have. She must have. She must have. She must have forgotten, right? She must have. And actually, mm -hmm. let's pronounce the final T, right? She must have forgotten. Repeat. Must have. Must have. She must have forgotten. Must have. Must have. She must have forgotten, you know, the bag, right? Okay. So she forget the bag. Why, right? She must have left in a rush. She must have. She must have uh, remembered. She left the stove on. You know, I don't know. You can, you can assume things, right? Uh yes, Reina, that is perfect. Claire, Claire must have been distracted. Very good, right? Eso es una perfecta, right? Debió haber estado distraída, right? So what else? What else can we say, guys? Claire must have been what? Edgar, what do you think? She must have drunk. She must have drunk, right? Very good. Debió haber bebido. Very good. I like, you know, chambroso. <laughs> Very good, right? So, Joanna, Joanna. So, what else?
Very good. Edson says she must have left her bag behind to watch TikTok. Beautiful job, Edson. That is a beautiful, beautiful job. Nita says she sure is forgetful. Yes, she sure is forgetful. Yes. Catherine, what do you think, Catherine? What could have happened here? Let's go, guys. Let's go. All those, you know, let's put into practice all those years of chambres, right? So, Joanna says, I can talk to you. Okay. But you can give me an example in the chat, right? Very good. So, I'm sorry to hear that you have a sore throat. She must have been very tired. Very good, right now. That is okay. Right? Uh, Catherine, what do you think, Catherine? Catherine Alejandro? Uh, she must have been wrong. She must have been wrong? Okay. Very good. Good job. Okay. Thank what you. are you? All right. That is good. That is good. What do you think, uh, Raul? Um, <clears throat> maybe um, she must have forgotten it uh, by mistake. <laughs> she must have forgotten it by mistake. G good job. All right. Very good. Uh, Jose Daniel, what do you think, Jose Daniel? What do you think? Caesar says, well, Liana says she must have had any, she must have had any problem and she went running. No, she must have had problems and she ran away and she ran away like that. But very good, Liana. Uh, Caesar says she must have gone very fast. She, she must have left, not gone. She must have left very, you know, fast, right? Or you can say in a rush. In a rush would be the better way of saying it. Uh, she must have been worried. That is correct. She must have had a problem. Very good, Jancy. That is correct. Gabby says she forgot her handbag in her car because she was late for late for work. Very good. All that we can say that that is simple past, Gabriella. But I needed to use the past model. So she, in this case, right? Since you're not sure, uh, you need to say to utilize the past modal. If I said she forgot her handbag in her car because she was late for work, eso no es asumir. Eso es que estás diciendo que eso pasó de verdad. Got it, guys? Si vos me lo decís en simple past, significa que de verdad eso pasó. No es que, que asumís. All right? So that's that's a big difference. But good job, Gabby. The example is good, but we need to use past models. Alejandra, she must have left a bomb in her bag. Very good. Very, very good. <laughs> she must have left the bomb. Yes. All right. Uh, she must have, she must kiss her lover. Now, Fernando, when you say she must kiss her lover, you're not talking to the past. You're talking about the present. Okay. She must kiss her lover. You're, you're saying, ella debe besar a su amante. Right. No, ella vio haber besado. Uh, ella debió haber besado a su amante. Right? So that's what I want you to say. Debió haber besado. Not, not debe besar. Yeah, a big difference. Irma, she has talking for her cell phone. She might have been talking on her cell phone. Raul, she must have forgotten her bag. Very good. But she must have taken another. Very good. <laughs> uh, Joanna, she must have go. Are you sure? Is that... Past, is that a past participle verb? So she must have gone, right? Right? She must have, and that's actually not gone either. It should, it should be left. She must have got, left, you know, uh, in an emergency. Uh, ever, she must have been, she must have been late for work. Don't, don't forget about the past participle. She must have been in a hurry for to see her, her boyfriend. She must have been late for work. Very good, ever. Good job. All right, guys, you got it. You're getting the hang of this, okay? So let's take a look at the, you know, at uh, this example too, right? I don't know why he did that. He could have hurt himself, right? Maybe, guys, you know, I, guys, when I was a kid, when I was a kid, I had a lady, you know, who was like really, 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 you know, she 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 loved to gossip. You know, amaba el chambre, guys. That lady, 
was like one of those ladies, you know, that was like she was born for gossiping, you know. And one day, guys, I was playing basketball with one of my best friends. And as we were playing, he was standing behind me and I was about to shoot the ball, you know, to 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 shoot the, um, to shoot a basket. Um, and then uh, I stepped on I stepped on one of his feet, you know, and he fell right. He he tripped over, and he um, dislocated his arm. All right, that is a real story. So he stood up. I took it to I took him to the to the clinic. And, you know, everything was fine, right? But this lady, guys, this lady who lived in my neighborhood said that I was, we were having a fight. <laughs> and that I, that I, um, that, that I dislocated his arm because we were having a fight. Do you understand? Right? So, so guys, that's, those are the, the type of things, you know, that we use, you know, these things for, right? En mi ejemplo, yo estaba jugando básquetbol, él estaba atrás mío, me paré en su pie, se cayó y cuando se levantó tenía el brazo dislocado. Súper random. Lo llevé a la clínica, right? Lo llevé a la clínica y lo arreglaron rapidito, pero una señora que ni siquiera estaba ahí, ni siquiera vio, o sea, solo lo vio como cuando pasó, y, y le fue a decir a la mamá que yo estaba peleando con él y se lo había dislocado. You know, I was not, we were not, we were best friends, you know. So anyways, you know, that's that's how we use, you know, this tense, right? So I want you to be like that señora, right? Necesito que sean como esa señora hoy, okay? So, so what do you think happened to this to this kid now? You can say, you know, he, like, like the señora, right? We can say, he might have been playing basketball with David and he tripped over you know very good right what else can you say guys just one example one more example and then we're gonna go over the search what else can we say here what else could have happened to this kid someone could have pushed them very good Liana beautiful example Liana right so we can say someone could have pushed him. Someone could have pushed them. Beauty, beauty, all right, very good. What else? What else can we say? All right. We're going to leave it there. We're going to leave it there, right? We have... Catherine, uh, he must have been running. Very good. He must have been running. Then he tripped over. Very, very good. Very good. Okay. All right, guys. So let's move on. So if you see here, guys, right, we use past modal verbs to talk about to of to talk about a speculation of the past. What do we use it for, guys? Everybody, what do we use it for? Speculation of the past. Repeat. Speculation of the past. Speculation, speculation of, the of the past. All right, so we use it to talk about speculation of the past. So why isn't John here yet? Right? Tu jefe viene te pregunta, hey, ¿por qué Chepito no está aquí todavía? And let's say that you don't know, right? But you're like that señora of my barrio, right? So, so you let's say that you don't know. What 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 do you say? What do you tell your boss, guys? What do you tell? What do you say to your boss? What do you think? Um, for example, <clears throat> uh, I don't know. He may have a uh, woke up. Late. He might, okay, he might have woken up late, woken up late, right? Very good. So see, guys, we can say, guys, she says, I don't know. He may have missed the train. No lo sé. Puede que haya perdido, right, el tren, right? So we use, we use guys, may 
or might to speculate about the past, okay? All right, so we use may and might to speculate about the past. So the structure, right? The structure is like this, okay? Let's let's take this example for instance, okay? So we're gonna do this, guys, okay? So let's talk about may and might. All right. So let's see. So we have may and we have might. All right, and we can say. All right, so we use, first of all, let's talk about the structure, right? So we have the subject plus may or might, which are the models, plus, well, what do we have next? We have the auxiliary okay. have, and then we have the verb in past participle, okay? She may have fallen, right? And then we have a complement. And this is the structure, okay? So let's take a look at the example. The example would be he, right? And then we say may or might, right? He may, and then we say have. Uh, he may have. Tripped over because he is clumsy, right? Se pudo haber, se pudo haber tropezado porque es torpe, right? Got it? <laughs> All right. So, right? And you're assuming, right? You're assuming, right? You're like señora from my barrio, right? So let's be like the lady from my barrio, guys. Okay. So, all right. So everything, right? Every everything understood. Okay. So I want you guys to. All right. We're gonna we're gonna talk. Okay. We're gonna talk, and um, I want you to practice this. I want you to take a screenshot and send it to the WhatsApp group, because I want you to answer this question. Okay. Right. What might have happened? What might have happened if um uh, if you could have changed something about your life in the past, okay? Right. Oh no, no, no. You know what? No, let's let's do this, okay? Because um, because that that would be, because we still need to be talking about speculation. So let me give. Hold on, guys. It's, my battery is running out of charge. All right. Very good. Okay. So we have. Hold on. We have um. Jeez. Hold on. All right. So let's see. So we have um okay. Let's go back to the example that we have here. Okay. And All right, hold on, guys. It's weird. All right, so so let's let's go back to the example that we have here, and then um, I want you guys to tell me what do you think might have happened. What do you think might have happened to this? Uh, to the guy who didn't come to work today, right? 
Quiero que practiquen en pareja, guys, y digan qué piensan que debió haber pasado con el tipo que no ha llegado al, al trabajo todavía, ¿ok? En English, of course. All right. Very good. All right. So in English, in English, okay? Very good. Very good. So let's uh let's get together, guys. I'm gonna send this image and you tell me what you think might have happened to the guy who did not go to work on that day, right? What is your speculation? ¿Cuál es su especulación? Okay. Todos entendemos lo que vamos a hacer, guys. Yes, teacher. All right. So I'm gonna send the image to the WhatsApp group. And I I will type in the end the question, right? So what why do you think the guy or John, right? John uh didn't go to work, right? And you need to say he might have, and then whatever you want, right? And I want you guys to have a regular conversation. It's not only one example and that's it, right? No quiero que me den un ejemplo y dejen de hablar. No, got it? You need to have a conversation about it, okay? And necesito que haya un gran chambre al respecto, right? I need it to be really, really, really um, inventive about it, okay? So let's go. Let's go, ladies and gentlemen. So what do you think might have happened? Let's go. Yes, it's okay, uh, Reina. I understand. Let's go, everybody. Let's join, guys. Let's join. Vamos, guys. Unámonos. Let's join. Let's join quickly so people are not left without a couple. So let's join, ladies and gentlemen. Okay. What do you think? He he may forgot the wallet. The wallet. He may have forgotten the wallet at home, and he had to come back to pick to pick it up. Oh yeah, that could be a wish. I think yeah. he may have forgotten to feed. Uh, and the next one is, is uh, he may have come on the bus. Sorry, could you, way. could you say that again, please? Uh, he may have come on the way. Oh, yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. that will be. Um, what could happen? Uh, he may have. He may have. Uh, do you know what is the past participle of quiz? We. Is it quiz? Can you spell it? Like uh, Q U E. I don't. I don't remember who is the writer. But is what do you say when you wanna say that somewhere left 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 uh, yeah when someone alguien renunció quit that he left he left. Mm -hmm. um, well, I think he may have left. Is left that job? Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, and also, uh, he may wait. He may have. Uh, 
an illness, Arnold? Uh, he may have wake woke up later. Uh -huh. He may have woke up later. Yeah. And he may have lost the keys of the car. And what, what else do you think? Uh, he may have been drunk. <laughs> <laughs> Everything will happen. Yeah. yeah. Sorry if you listen to my dog barking. <laughs> Sounds nice. <laughs> what more could happen again? Okay. What else could happen with John? He may have, uh, he may had, he may have had an accident. I was thinking on the way. Yeah, it could be. Well, yeah, that could be. Mm -hmm. and what else he may have forgotten that today is Monday <laughs> he may have forgotten but today is Monday. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> or or yeah. Jim like may I have drunk a lot on Sunday. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. And, and he wake up late on Monday. Like thinking that was Sunday. <laughs> He may have been very drunk. Mm -hmm. He he may have uh, no, he may have had hangover. Oh yeah. <laughs> very strong hangover. <laughs> mm -hmm. What else do you think? I don't know. He may have been in Las Vegas with a tiger in the bathroom. What else will happen? The cell phone in the house. I think. Uh, okay. I am agree. What about Gabriela? Uh, Gabriela uh, wrote in the chat. He's working now. Uh, okay. 
And so he I can have, speak. Uh, and then I'm going to repeat this, the, the possibilities why John has to go to work. It depends. It depends on what you want. What do you prefer to use? Yeah. Hey, how are we doing here? We are we are talking about that. All right. Yeah. All right. Let me let me hear you. Let me hear you. Let me hear the chambre. <laughs> we have been talking about that. He might have drunk a lot on Sunday. He might have drunk a lot on Sunday, right? Sunday, and yeah, it could be on, on Monday. He my had had a hangover on on, on Monday. He might have had a hangover on Monday. Mm -hmm. Very good, very good. So he he might have had a hangover on Monday. Very good. What else? Yeah, and we also add he might have had an accident on the way. He might have had an accident on the way. Very good, very good. Okay. Good job. Continue, continue. I'm gonna check on everybody else, okay? Okay, thank really, you. Really, really good job. Pass. And that's why I think John uh, don't don't go to work. He might be sick, uh, number one. Uh, number two, he might have some commitment. And number three, he might have had an accident, or maybe he might have fallen asleep. Yes. I've seen several possibilities. He might have been kidnapped. He might have kidnapped. been kidnapped. Yes. He, he might have been in a hard traffic and he lost her, his hair, his, his phone. So he can call uh, to his boss to advise, advise them. Or and, perhaps. Yep. Yeah. Or maybe perhaps he might have lost the bus. Yeah, it's true. It's another possibility. Okay, there are uh, several possibilities why John don't go to work. Uh, but didn't go to work. Not don't, didn't. Didn't. Uh -huh. Yes, didn't go to work. There are, there are okay. several possibilities why John... <laughs> Uh, other example. Another example. Another example. Sorry. Yes, 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 yes. So will be the other example. Go ahead. Mm, uh, he might he might have ended Mine. up in the hospital because. He, might, he drank too he much. Have, he and, might have ended up in the in the hospital because he drank too much. Okay. Very well. Very good. All right. What else? Uh, he might. He might have. Um, he might have uh, eat or ate ate eaten eaten eating. Eating very much, very much. Too much. Too much. Too much. Too at much. The party. Yeah. Too much in the party or in the beach. Okay. okay. At the party mm -hmm. or at the beach? Okay. Okay, at the party. Or at the beach, right? Very good. Or right. at the party in the beach. Or in the beach. Yeah, okay. You can say that. You can say that. All right. What else? What else do we have? Uh, we have other example teacher. 
he might have lived in Soyapango by that he found the much traffic in the ports <laughs> are the boulevard. <laughs> <laughs> he might have an accident because he drive very bad. All <laughs> he right. might he might have Conley from the travel hospital. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And one example, uh we we don't write. You didn't write no, it down? We, we didn't write. You didn't write it down, okay. All right, but those are very nice examples. Good job, all right? You didn't want <laughs> All right, so that's that's true, you know, that's those are things that could have happened, okay? So we're gonna go back now, okay? Okay, okay. All right, ladies and gentlemen from the flat universe. <laughs> hey, uh, guys, let's wait for everybody to be back here, guys. So we can go over the news. All right. So tomorrow we are going to take a deeper dive into the structure and usage of, you know, past models. Did we learn anything new today, guys? Yes, yes, I did, teacher. Yes. All right. All right. Very good. So, anyways, um, so for tomorrow, guys, we are going to have a class tomorrow. Okay, CI class in mañana, because we didn't come on Mother's Day, right? <laughs> so we do have a class tomorrow. Tomorrow teacher, is tomorrow is the last night. The yes. the last class. Tomorrow is our last class from this module. Yes, it is our last class from this module. So. I don't know if you'll see me on the next module or not. I hope so, you know. Otherwise, I'll I'm gonna miss you. But yeah, guys. Um, tomorrow is our tomorrow is is our last class from the module. Okay. So right. you are a great teacher. Thank you, thank you. I'm really glad to hear that. Um, so practice, guys. Practice, right? If you know, make friends. You know, get together. You don't need to have somebody on top of you telling you to practice, right? You can practice, guys, with whoever wants to, you know, improve their English, right? So um, thank you very much, guys. Enjoy the rest of your evening, and I'll see you tomorrow. Thank you, guys. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Good night. Bye.